Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Neil Galvin. I'm a registered nurse and I do have a degree in medical surgical nursing. I create my nursing educational videos to help nursing students or nursing professionals like you with their studies. If that is something that you are interested in, consider subscribing. If you are already a subscriber though, thank you so much for your love and support. I see you. I upload my nursing educational videos Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Please make sure to subscribe now. You hit the notification bell so that you will be the very first to watch my newest uploads. Also, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and share with your friends because that would really help and know that you like to see more contents like this. Without further ado, you guys, let's jump into the video. Hi everyone, kumusta kayo na mga ganap niyo sa buhay? Today is another Monday. Another Monday of the week. Naka, nasa week, ano na nga tayo? Tama ba? Four? of the month of April and I just want to apologize from the bottom of my heart because I wasn't able to upload yet last week. Oh, oh medyo na busy tayo for today's video. But for this week, I am finally back and let me start the week with another lecture for all of you guys. Now, this is another entry natin sa ating nursing theories and theorists. Kung di mo pa napapanood yung um, other lectures ko regarding sa nursing theories, I'll be putting the actual playlist link on the description box or whenever the icon button pops out, click the one out because I'll be putting it there together with uh, together with the other playlist I have on my channel. I would also like to grab this opportunity to thank every one of you who's watching right now for subscribing and welcome sa mga bago nating subscribers John. Welcome to the number one online nursing class on YouTube. I hope you guys enjoy your stay here. At sa mga datihan na, mga dati ko na mga estudyante dyan, nako maraming maraming salamat po for your continuous support. I love you guys so, so, so much. Now, without further do this is going to be quick i'm gonna be giving you five nursing theories and their theorists okay so this is just an overview the tip of the iceberg on their work and if you like i said uh before on my previous uploads regarding nursing theories if you want me to do a thorough deep dive of each of their of their studies you let me know in the comment section below but without further ado magsisimula na tayo eto na so let's start with the first theorist of the day we have Gladys L. Husted and James Husted. So there are actually um, these people are husband and wife. Ang tare di ba talaga naman? Uh, papakilala ko sa inalas. Uh, papakilala ko sila sa inyo. Sila lang naman ang gumawa ng symph uh, symphonological bioethical theory. Anong nilalaman nito? When you hear about this theory, symphon symphonology from symphonia, a Greek word meaning agreement, is a systematic ethics based on the terms and preconditions of an agreement. I guess this kind of like talks more about the nurse agreement in a hospital and his or her employer. Now, nursing cannot occur without both nurse and patient. A nurse takes no actions that are not in her actions. This will also apply to the nurse patient in her actions and the managing the patient in a day, the plan of care, all of those stuff. Now, founded on a singular concept of human rights, the essential agreement of non-aggression among rational people forms the foundation of all human interaction. Once again, this is the body of work of Gladys Husted and James Husted. All right, let's proceed. We have Ramona T. Mercer. Kilala niyo ba siya? Kung hindi niyo siya kilala, ngayon ko siya ipapakita, papakilala ko siya sa inyo. She, she formulated the maternal role attainment becoming a mother. Model. Ano bang nilalaman nito? Now, nursing is a dynamic profession with three major fo foci. Health promotion and prevention of illness, providing care for those who need professional assistance to achieve their optimal level of health and functioning, and research to enhance the knowledge base for providing excellent nursing care. So when you think about maternal role attainment, you think about the nursing is a dynamic profession of three major falsi, like I said earlier. Now, furthermore, nurses are the health professionals having the most sustained and intense interaction with women in the maternity cycles. More on the OB side of nursing, see Maring Ramona, okay? Now, maternal role attainment is an interaction and developmental process occurring over time. The mother becomes attached to her infant, acquires com uh, competence in the caretaking tasks involved in the role, and expresses pleasure and gratification. 
She also mentioned that uh, provides proper health care interventions for non-traditional mothers for them to favorably adopt a strong maternal identity. Once again, this is the maternal maternal role attainment of Ramona T. Mercer. Malino ba yan? Malino. Ngayon, bago tayo mag-proceed sa pangatlo nating theorist at yung kanyang theory, baka naman hindi ka pa nagsasubscribe, nakakaya naman saya mag-subscribe ka na go. Ayan, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you for doing that for me. And thank you, thank you for keep on supporting the show. Mag-proceed na tayo. We have Merle, o Merle H. Michel. Sino to si Me- Madam Michel? Siya lang naman na nagpanukala ng uncertainty and illness theory. Ano bang nilalaman nito? What does it have to say? Now, this model presents a comprehensive structure to view the experience uh, of acute and chronic illness and organized nursing interventions to promote optimal adjustment. Describes how individuals form meaning from illness-related situations. She also mentioned in her theory, the, or, the original theory's concept were organized in a linear model around the following three major themes, antecedents of uncertainty, process of uncertainty appraisal, and coping with uncertainty. Once again, this is the body of work of Merle Michel. All right, mag-proceed na tayo. We have Pamela G. Reed. So nakakatatlo na tayo ha, si uh, Marimong Pamela 1, Pamela Mela 1, Charing. Ang ating pang-apat na theory of the day, theorist of the day. So ano bang ginawa natin ni Pamela G. Reed? Tari, di ba? Kamukha niya si Marimar. Siya lang naman na nagpanukala ng self-transcendence theory. So when you think about Pamela Reed, you are thinking about self-transcendence theory. What does it have to say? Ito siya. Self-transcendence, ah, pano da? Self-transcendence refers to the fluctuation of perceived boundaries that extend the person or self beyond the immediate and constricted views of self and the world. Now, has three basic concepts. Under ng self-transcendence theory, may tatlong konsepto. We have vulnerability, self-transcendence, and well-being. Lastly, according to Pamela, this theory gives insight into the development, uh, developmental nature of humans associated with health circumstances connected to nursing. Once again, self-transcendence theory created by Pamela G. Reed. Last theories na tayo for today and we have Carolyn Winner and Marilyn Dodd. Sino-sino ba itong mga babaitang ito? Ito sila. Theory of illness trajectory. When you think about illness trajectory, you're talking about the theory of Caroline and Marilyn. Okay, anong nilalaman ng theory na to? The uncertainty surrounding a chronic illness like cancer is the uncertainty of life writ large. By listening to those who are tolerating this exaggerated uncertainty, we can learn much about the trajectory of living. Provides a framework for nurses to understand how cancer patients stand uncertainty manifested as a loss of control. So this talk about the, you know, mga chronic illness as they're deteriorating and how patients and nurses and how patients, um, what's this? Uh, adopt to it and how nurses can help the patients in the process of adaptation. We also have provides, uh, according to them, they say, it provides new knowledge on how patients and families endure uncertainty and work strategically to reduce uncertainty through a dynamic flow of illness events, treatment situations, and varied players involved in care organization. Once again, you're thinking about theory of illness trajectory, You are talking about Carolyn Winner and Marilyn Dodd. Thank you so much, you guys, for watching. I hope you learned something for today. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more nursing educational videos. You let me know if you have other nursing topics you want us to do. You comment it down below. Abangan mo nga yung upload natin, yung next classroom discussion natin this Wednesday because it's going to be fun. And I think I'm thinking of doing a pharmacological drug study. Nursing pharma tayo. This coming, what's this? Wednesday. So, uh, yun lang. 
please support my channel. Continue sharing the news about my channel. Tulungan nyo na nga ako, ipamalitan nyo na sa radyo sila ang pinakabago, pinakafresh at ang pinakalibring nursing review center sa balat ng YouTube. Don't forget to follow me in all my other social media accounts. Everything is at Neil Gave except for my TikTok account which is Neil Gave Official. I have a Facebook page. This lecture material is going to be available there. Share them um, through Facebook and tag me if you do. Also, don't forget to follow me and subscribe to my podcast channel. It's 3 a.m. Conversation with Neil Gabe. Recently, I uploaded a show, a podcast show. It's all about people pleasing. So I hope you can check it out and I hope I'll see you guys there. I wish you have a fantastic week and you have a great one.